Here are some of my fun games to play in class. So the first one is 20 questions. I'm sure you've played this game before. So that's when someone thinks of a secret person, place, or thing, a secret noun, basically. And the other people have to ask yes, no questions. So the challenge is to figure out what the noun is before the 20 questions is up. So my rule that I do is that I count an answer as one of the guesses. So for example, um, this prevents students from saying like, elephant, cat, dog, tiger, just making random guesses. And then um, that also counts as one of the questions. So the next fun game you can play in class is Pictionary or Charades. I know this is kind of two games, but they're actually very similar. So Pictionary is drawing a secret word or phrase and Charades is acting it out. So divide the class into two teams and then um, write down a bunch of phrases or words on little slips of paper and one person comes up to the front and then either draws or acts it out and their team has to guess what it is. So you can play it, um, you can time how long it takes to get that one thing and then add up the time in the end and whoever has the lowest time is the winner. Or you can play rounds of say like one or two minutes and students try to get as many words or phrases as possible in that amount of time. So the next fun game you can play in class is apples to apples. So have a look on Amazon or just wherever you like to buy things at the store, online, whatever, and you can find this apples to apples game. It actually works really well for big classes and it's a nice vocabulary game. You can also make your own sets of apples to apples cards and I'll put the link down there um, where I explain how to do that. So the next fun thing you can do in class is board or card games. So I love to play board games and card games in my real life. So I always have kind of like a, um, a bunch of them that I have at home. So I also like to have some at school. So I just have them in a big uh, bag and you can buy like some old card games or board games sometimes at like uh, Value Village and we call it Value Village in Canada. I'm not sure what other people have in their countries, but kind of thrift stores, you can often find stuff. I, I will always check and make sure that they have at least most of the pieces there. And if they don't, then I'll kind of add whatever is necessary. And so sometimes we'll just have kind of like a fun game day and students can go in groups, they can play whatever game they want. I have a mix of kind of very simple ones that are very easy to explain and then like a little bit more complicated um, where I can still help students along. But um, yeah, so that just makes a really nice thing to do in class. So the next thing you can do in class for a fun game is the I'm going on a picnic game. So this is where you say I'm going on a picnic and I'm bringing a book. Then students will ask you, can I bring uh, my dog? And I would say no. And then another student would say, can I bring my water bottle? And I would say, yes. Do you know why? It's the double letter. So book has two O's and bottle has two T's. And then whoever figures out the rule first, um, I'll usually just tell them to be quiet and kind of let other students try to figure it out. But that person will get to choose the next rule. And the way it works better with students is that I get them secretly to tell me the rule first, just so I can kind of help them if they start answering kind of incorrectly on that. And it just prevents kind of some anger, <laughs> unhappiness in class. All right, so the last um, games you can play in class are kind of um, similar, but um, related, I guess. So uh, the, the first one is an airplane, a paper airplane contest. So I get students to make a paper airplane and then we go to the gym or the hallway or something. We have a little competition to see who can throw it the furthest. The next one is building the tallest tower. So I bring a bunch of materials to class and I put students into small groups and give them say like 20 or 30 minutes to build a tower. And then when the time is up, an alarm will go and then the tower has to stay standing for one minute. And then whoever is the tallest that's still standing at the end of that minute is the winner. And then another idea related to that is um, also bringing in a bunch of materials and then bringing in some raw eggs. So students have to design a container of some kind that they think will protect the egg when you drop it from the roof. So this requires a, a little bit of logistics. So you need actually like another adult with you unless you teach adults, because um, someone has to be on the roof dropping the things, you need access to the roof and all that. So I recommend double checking uh, before you uh, choose to do that one. All right, so those are my fun games that you can play in class. Please be sure to check out my book, 101 ESL Activities for Kids. Please leave a comment and let me know what is your favorite game to play with your students. Catch you next time. Bye, everyone.